Okay, hey guys, it's your boy, Dark Raku here with What If Issei Was The Joker, Part 3. Now, before I continue on, I was doing Part 3 yesterday. I only did it for like 6 minutes, and then I stopped because I was too damn tired, and I just said, fuck it, I'll go to sleep and stuff. So, yeah. <clears throat> Sorry about that. I just ate a while ago, and I'm kind of burping now. But, not the point. So, yeah, I didn't really do this yesterday. It's because I was too damn tired because I went to so many damn things to do. And I was already too damn tired in the beginning with the day. But yeah. So of course I need to go to sleep. And uh, I am kind of awake today. Kind of. Not much. But not the point. I also was doing math yesterday. Which I haven't done math in like two years since I graduated from high school. But I was helping out a sibling because they were too much of an idiot. But not the point. Uh, let me begin into what if, let me shut the fuck up, let me kind of continue on, and yep. Yeah. Also, I don't know how many subscribers I'm at, uh, I should probably be at 400 already, probably, maybe, I don't know, I haven't checked, but not the point. Let me begin into this what if, let me shut the fuck up, because after this what if, I'm going to go upload as a call, well, I am going to do what if Issei had an anti-magic demon, because I'm going to add a couple things and new characters into it, but not the point. <coughs> Uh, not the point. Some characters are probably going to be from Bleach. Not the point. But let me begin to work. Okay. So, yeah. Not not on this one. There's no one I'm going to add from Bleach. I don't think so. Uh, not the point. Let me begin to work. Let me shut the fuck up. I know I'm rambling on. Blah, blah, blah. And yeah. So, we begin into mostly someone kind of just getting towards Kuo uh, town. This will work well. He just did cause some trouble, but he didn't really care and just walked around. He walked around Kuo Town trying to figure out where the fuck is that one person he's trying to think about. He's trying to remember who he was looking for again, but then kind of forgot and decides to just walk around. This is where, well, he hears kind of yelling. Of course, he ignores it because he doesn't care. But of course, this yelling is getting closer and closer to him. When he turns around, he sees, well, a female kind of running away from a older looking man who looks to be like in his 30s. And of course, the female ran past, well, this person. And of course, the person just looked at it nonchalant, like didn't give a shit <laughs> because he doesn't care. But of course, where, well, the older guy was going to bump into this person. He, when he did bump into this person, this person didn't fall back, but instead grabbed the person and says, Watch where the fuck you're going. His eyes were glowing red, having an X and O, and of course grabbing the older man from the collar. This is when the older man from the collar is running out swearing bullets, seeing whoever this person is. He looks smaller and younger than him, which yes, this person's like five, uh, what's it called, like five seven. This person's like five seven, and of course this person was right now just staring at this man's soul like he was about to murder this guy which not even like 10 seconds later this man he just dumped this like older man into the fucking trash can literally stuffed his head into this trash can because literally a little like what's it called metal trash can because they were like at the park and of course it was kind of dark well it wasn't dark it was kind of like getting morning but yeah so of course it worked well the person the older person was now stuffed into a trash can literally didn't care or mostly, he didn't, well, he couldn't really care because it was too fast for him and he was literally stuffed into a trash can. This is where, well, the person right now just cleaned his fucking hands and starts walking away. This is where, well, he says, this place is already pissing me off. This is where he kind of speaks out loud, but yeah. <laughs> of course, we go into someone just chuckling on the roof, kind of watching this. This is where, well... He has, what's it called, well, he had like this, uh, telescope, well, not telescope, no, 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 not a telescope, what was it called? So, through some, uh, yeah, binoculars, and of course, he's just chuckling, kind of seeing, well, this person is kind of chuckling, saying, oh, if he isn't the Ark of the King of Destruction, I guess he's finally here. Well, it's time to cause destruction. Here's where he has both of his hands right now in front of him, having this huge grin on his face, his eyes glowing much more of a bridal purple. Well, I mean, much more brighter, but darker kind of purple. Of course, one of his eyes, which is covered up, kind of ignites into fire. And this is where he has his hand right in front of him, saying, time to cause destruction. <laughs> this is where he's laughing like a maniac. So it looks like this, okay? 
so uh, without the with the fire also but yeah it kind of looks like this fire force joker kind of uh, pose like this but of course this is where that is happening and well we go into mostly the time scope the next day well not really the next day it is kind of getting dark but we go into mostly back into the person with x and o in his eye this is where well he's getting around the whole place he has bumped into someone Mostly a girl with kind of a bluish, kind of purplish hair, kind of color. Of course, mostly like darkish blue. Of course, having violet eyes. And of course, having always say ara ara. But yeah. This is where it's none other than Akana. And this is where, well, she did bump into this person, which this person just looked at her with a really non caring look. But yeah. And this is where, well, she was very shocked to believe that someone really doesn't care about her chest size. Her good looks or any of that. Mostly a bunch of humans were to care and have lust to look. This person doesn't care. He doesn't give a damn. This is where, well, this person said, uh, whatever. He starts walking away because he just doesn't give a shit. Even though if he bumps into Akano. But yeah. Akano right now has kind of heart in her eyes because she calls Ara Ara. That's interesting. I never expected someone to resist my looks. Hmm. He's quite interesting. <laughs> this is where she didn't really see his eyes, but she can only guess they were kind of red because they had a red glow to it. Because his bangs usually were covering up his eyes, but yeah. This is where, well, she then kind of uh, makes a magic circle to teleport, but yeah. Of course, the person really doesn't see this and they didn't really care. But yeah. But of course, this is where, well, we go into mostly, well, back into mostly the person just walking around. He's sighing, doesn't know where the hell this person should be at. But of course, it worked. well, something that happens. He kind of, uh, remember, kind of just searching to his pockets, remembering something. He got a paper, and of course, it worked. well, the paper just says to go to this, like, school. And of course, it's already turning dark, so he doesn't know if the school is open or not, which he doesn't care. But there's something that just smashes right in front of him. Mostly something just stabbed in front of him in the ground. This is where he does jump back. But it was a flaming card that had the symbol of, well, the ace. Like an ace spade. But yeah, or not the spade of ace. Mostly an ace. This is where, well, or not ace. Mostly it had the symbol of a king. But yeah, this is where, well, this person says, oh, you're finally here, isn't you? Isn't it right, Joker? This is where Joker walks out, who is none other than Issei. And Issei said, oh, well, hello there. Aka, king of destruction. So, how has it been? It's been so long since the last time we saw each other. How long has it been? About, let's see. Oh, five months ago. This is where, well, this person just, like, snorts at what's a car. Issei, and says, don't call me by that title. You already know what's my name. It's Shima Benjamaru. This is where, well, the person chuckles name Issei just said, well, I guess I know about your name, but why not just call me by titles? Besides, you already called me by my title. Wouldn't it be kind of respectful to call you with your title? This is where, well, Benjamaru just scoffs and says, whatever, you can call me Shima, it doesn't matter. I will call you Joker because that's the only thing that you like about that title. Because you're nothing but just a destruction force. Oh, so you believe in the righteous of good and evil? This is where, well, she might just scoff and say, Yeah, right. I don't care about any of that shit. All I care about is doing whatever. That's basically me, you idiot. I'm the chaotic nature myself. This is where, well, Benjamin just scoffs again and says, Whatever, dude. So... I'm here, and what, what is all of this shit? You signed a contract, you did something stupid. Actually, it should have been kind of me that I would have done something like that. But no, it was actually you. Which is kind of surprising. This is where, well, he said chuckle saying, Oh, well, about that, that contract had a little bit of kind of information. They said if I could, if I could survive high school and have a, a diploma in GPA, and if I come back, I can destroy more things and more and more stuff. And destroy most of the territories that I don't like. This is where, well, 
Ben Jamar Scott and say, and then they tried to sign me off, but I never signed any of the papers. But since you did, I was here. So what? Am I supposed to go to high school? Well, yes, you can go to high school, but there's one problem here, Benjamin Shima. I'm already graduated. <coughs> Actually, I have a GPA and was a car a diploma. So yes, I'm already graduated from high school. It was pretty easy. All the kids are so idiotic. The teachers are also quite idiotic. They weren't expecting me to graduate too fast. The person that I was dealing with, it was mostly a chess game to kind of graduate, which was kind of dumb, but whatever. <coughs> but not the point. Now that I'm free from the contract and its bindings, we can go back and destroy those weaklings for even daring to do something stupid like that. This is where, well, he has such a sinister grin. This is where, well, Shinma says, I see. So what, do we only need to stay here? No, we don't. We can just leave. Great. Well, guess what? The fucking train stop is closed. Because I got here somewhere in the morning. It was kind of pissing me off that I had to wait until it became like 5 a.m. over there. Okay? This is what, well, easy to check us and say sorry about that. Well, we can stay here for a little bit. At least I have an apartment. Also, don't bother my cat. Well, you have a cat? Well, it's mostly like a companion friend, okay? Whatever. This is where, well, Benjamin just decides to follow Well, Issei. This is where, well, they get to the apartments. And of course, the apartments does have like two rooms, but yeah. This is where Boots appears and says, Well, my owner, you're here. Can I have some money? This is where, well, <coughs> Benjamin does a question about the talking cat. He doesn't even care. He doesn't give a fuck. This is where Issei chuckles and does like give out money straight towards the cat named Poos and Boots. And of course, this is where the cat disappears right now wearing boots and just disappearing. But yeah. <coughs> Benjamin doesn't question. He instead gets to the fucking bed and like takes a nap. But yeah. This is where, well, Joker, who is named Issei, is just thinking, what to do now? What to do now? Should I go back and destroy those bastards? Or should I stay here? It's quite fun and interesting this place is. Now, there's a problem. Uh, what's it called? Blech. Not a problem. Well, blech. sorry about that. What am I talking about? Oh, shit. No, sorry. Sorry. I kind of had a headache. And I was mostly, like, uh, cleaning out my nose because I was kind of, like, getting... Yeah. I'm still sick, I should mention. Sorry about that. But, so we go into Issei. Issei is in his room, and of course, this is where something happens. He hears something fly past this with a car, mostly apartment window. This is where, when he looks throughout the window, and of course, this is where, well, he still has this kind of bandana covering one of his eyes. Of course, he doesn't have his hat or his clothing. But what he sees in the dark, thanks to his eyes, this is where, well, they become a little bit purplish color. And of course, this is where, well, it's like if you can see into the night, like the night vision, but yeah. And this is where, well, what he sees is a bunch of these people with wings, of black wings, similar to that for Crow. He's seeing so many of them kind of flying towards, well, a school, and that being the Kuo Academy. Now, of course, he's confused, but he, some of those, like, fallen, well, he doesn't know, well, they are kind of fallen angels, which he figured that out a while ago. But of course, it's where, well, he sees multiple of them having either two pairs of wings, all the way to like some of them having even what's called eight wings in total, to even one of them having ten wings in total. But yeah. But there were so many of them kind of going towards Kuo Academy. Now, of course, the one with ten wings had such a malicious grin, and of course, like this arrogant ass grin, which he noticed, which it was quite interesting. But of course, he didn't care. But of course, all the other fallen angels seems to just be following him straight towards Koa Academy. He's this is where he says quite interesting. Hmm, should I go help out the devils? I know they're devils, and I should pretty much not care about them. Or should I just attack both sides? Cause I am the Joker, and I do whatever I want. This is where well. 
Issei grins and now has an idea. This is where Issei goes and changes and busts into Benjamaru's room, which Benjamaru already woken up because mostly Issei was making a lot of fucking noise. Benjamaru says, oh, what the hell do you want? Okay, change the plans, Benjamaru. Or I mean Shinma. You see here, we are not going to the town right now. Okay, well yeah, it's still dark, no shit. No, 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 no. Change of plans. Don't you, don't you think it's a little boring in this town and how there's barely any fights? Well, I mean, yeah, that is true in some criminals. Okay. Well, do you think you, do you want to go fight some winged people? The fuck are you on about? Just fucking explain. Okay. I'll tell you the three species, but let's just go. Whatever. He follows, well, Issei. Of course, as you mentioned how Benjamaru is wearing. He's wearing a kind of like this blue kind of kimono garb. Of course, this blue uh, dark pants that are mostly like fireproof. But yeah, like, what's it called? Not fireproof, mostly like fire resistance. Pretty like high fire resistance. And of course, black boots. He's wearing a black vessel and a white shirt underneath. But yeah, mostly the black vessels underneath his kind of like blue kimono garb. But yeah, <laughs> upper garb. But yeah. And of course, Issei is wearing a black, like, black coat. A black kind of, like, vessel-ish jacket, kind of, that has no long sleeves or no sleeves at all. It basically looks like this one right here. Has this white kind of shirt, long sleeve, but yeah. But not the point. Or, he mostly looks like this. Well, this one over here. He has a, like, red kind of scarf, kind of the banana, and, yeah, the hat. So, yeah, he looks like this entirely. Now, of course, he's right now rushing with Benjamaru, and Benjamaru is getting a fast explainment of what is happening. He explains about the, well, mostly three factions, that being the angels, fallen angels, and even devils. He explains that devils has like four lords or something. He doesn't really care. The fallen angels should be having one, that, well, having two, mostly the governor general, leader, whatever bullshit, and even the freaking general of soldiers or whatever. And then there's the and then there's the angels, which he doesn't give a shit. There's God or whatever. God should be real or something. This is where well, mostly Benjamin doesn't care about none of this, but of course he heard there was going to be a good fight, so he he has had you coming. But yeah, this is where well, Easy on the other hand just want to cause destruction to show the power of humanity's power. But yeah, well not really. Mostly just cause destruction because he's a Joker. Doesn't really care what to do. But yeah. But of course, they were, well, they're getting to the school until they see a dome, like a purplish, well, not even a, yeah, purplish, a huge purplish dome, much bigger than the one in the original canon, because there's actually a lot of fallen angels inside it, but yeah. And of course, they were, well, Issei is looking around how to get into the dome, and this is where, well, he noticed was a car, Sonos, oh, well, not, yeah, Sonos Parage, and even Sona there. This is where, well, Issei said, okay, you know what we gotta do? This is where Benjamin says, what? Okay, this is where, well, you see right now, he has his purple eye right now analyzing everyone. And this is where he noticed one of them actually trying a little bit hard and not trying to, well, like he's put enough magic into this one spot so it won't open again. So of course, this is where he says that, I know what to do. Okay, how you wanna get in? If we punch this guy so hard enough, we can probably make him distracted and make a hole and then jump in. This is where, well, Benjamin says, I got this. No, faster ways to just throw a card at him. This is where, well, okay, then go ahead. This is where, well, he say, uh, nice, like, yeah, ignites a card right in front of him and just tosses it so fast that it almost hits the person. The person just jumps back because he was confused. He was like, huh, huh, what the hell was that? This is where the fire card literally smashes into a tree, like, that was kind of, like, right behind, well, mostly... Because this person went in the side, there's a tree kind of in the side of him, but yeah, it wasn't behind him. But of course, this is where when the car smashes into the tree, it's kind of burning the tree a little bit. This is where some people have noticed it. Mostly some of the females in Sona's Parage and also Sona. This is where Sona says, that's the fire card. Who uses fire card? This is where Sona says, wait, isn't that that crazy bastard who just graduated? This is where, well, he sees a crack being open. This is where he says, shit, magic. This is where, well, both Issei and Benjamin just smashes through it. This is where, well, 
Benjamin punches through the fucking little like like crack rifting. And of course the witness jumps and say, Thanks for the fucking opening, dumbass. And this is where well Sanji says, Where the fuck are you? Oh, shit. This is where he puts magic into it. Sona's confused and why Issei is here, but she can't really worry about him right now. Because of the dome and the fallen angels. Now, of course, she wants an explainment from him, but there's a good chance he won't be coming back alive. Or maybe she doesn't know much about well, Issei. But this is where, well, both Issei and Benjamaru are right now into, well, the dome. And of course, this is where, well, they keep walking around, well, mostly walking, like, forward. And, of course, they see these fallen angels fighting against what they call these devils. Mostly devils' parages. And, of course, is where, well, there's actually, like, three devil parages kind of there fighting. There's uh, Rias, uh, Valerie's, and even someone named Takana. But, yeah. And, of course, then there's some, what's it called, like, exorcists. Well, these two exorcists, one with orange hair, or mostly chestnut hair. Uh, well... Is it chestnut or orange? I can't tell. Whatever. It's orange. She has purple eyes and a black suit and has a white cross, silverish cross. With another one having a bluish hair, greenish kind of like bang highlight in her front of her hair. And of course, these golden eyes. And she has a sword that isn't, what's it called, Excalibur. It's Al Toronto or whatever. And of course, she's wearing similar outfit like the girl with orange hair. This is where, well, there's two other people that kind of are mostly exorcists, but yeah. They're wearing some of the same. Just one has pinkish hair and greenish eyes, while the other one else kind of has, what's it called, a, um. So this person has kind of reddish hair and yellowish kind of mangs in front of her. Of course, her reddish hair is in the ponytail, but yeah. Well, it's kind of a lightish reddish hair. Of course, she's not wearing the same kind of outfit like the other two exorcists, or mostly the other three, but yep. But of course, this is where she has a sword and a symbol in her chest. Now, of course, she basically has just her bra. She's wearing just her bra, and of course, mostly like a black kind of uh, suit. Now, she's also an exorcist because she does have a cross, but yeah. Now, of course, this is where, well, they're fighting against these fallen angels, and of course, this is where, well, Issei says... Hey, don't you think they're going to be... Well, mostly Issei said. Hey, do you remember attacking the Vanguard again? This is where... Well, Benjamin says, yeah, and why should we care? Do you think those exorcists will even care remembering us? We didn't see them there, did we? This is where... Well, Issei says, eh, probably not. This is where they're walking in with just a casual fucking walk. But this is where when some of the fallen angels managed to notice them... This is how they were walking in, mostly towards the fallen angels. So pretty much this is what they look like doing, but yeah. Pretty much they're walking like it's basically their fucking, like, home. They just don't care. This is where, well, Benjamin was having this, like, look of, bring it on, you fuckers. Like... He, he's not even smiling, he's kind of just frowning most of the time. While Issei, on the other hand, is like, cast this evil as you grin, sinister kind of grin, just laughing. <laughs> right now, smoking the cigar also. This is where, well, the Fallen Angels are confused, but multiple Fallen Angels rushes towards the car Benjamar and Issei. This is where Benjamar snaps his fingers one, fire ignites from his hand, and of course, he just sends the fire straight toward the Fallen Angels right now, sending them up. Even though they're already up, their wings were burning and they were falling down to the ground. While Issei was walking around the fallen angels while they were falling down, he was like, <laughs> <laughs> This is where, well, the fallen angels noticed was it called two more presents. And of course, this is where, well, Coco Bill, the leader, kind of noticed in them. And there was like, Sane. Oh, more humans? Wait, they're not even a part of any of the three factions. Who the hell are they? This is where, well, Issei was just grinning at them and saying, Well, hello there. The name's Joker, and well, my partner here is named Akka, the King of Destruction. We're here to just cause a lot of fucking chaos. <laughs> this is where he's just laughing. This is where, well, the Fallen Angels are like Switch up even the Devil Side, even the freaking Exorcist. They're like, fuck, more people. This is where, well, EC right now kind of like claps both of his hands up in the air. He like puts him up in the air. This is where he then like opens them and this is where like fire cards started appearing. This is where, well, EC was laughing and saying, well, let's start the show in the row. 
This is where he throws like two fire cards straight towards the fallen angel side and even the devil side. That being also the exorcist. This is where the exorcist had to dodge him with the devil. So like, what the hell? He wasn't lying when he was basically saying he's on his chaotic side. Oh, Jesus. God. Well, mostly terror about like, Call or what's it called? The name of God's name. Mostly Jesus. And this is where some of them kind of got a headache, but yeah. This is where, well, they actually says, damn it. I see. So they're basically just wanting to cause trouble. This is where Benjamin rushes towards the fallen angel side. This is where one sent a life spear strike towards what Benjamin. Benjamin grabs that shit and right now hits his fallen angel right in the throat. Like punch him right in the throat. <coughs> Make the guy kind of fall down. This is where he then grabs the well light spirit because he well he isn't a fallen angel, but it isn't burning him much because he's actually able to control fire manipulation and other stuff. And since light is technically kind of fire, it kind of generates some heat. So yeah, this is where he holds that light spirit and just throws it straight towards a fallen angel. Right now, smashing into multiple fallen angels behind that one fallen angel, like stabbing right in the heart, and then another hit him in the head, and another one in the chest. But yeah, this is where well, some of the fallen angels were in their eyes, seeing a human literally can just use their own light spears. This is where well. He says chuckling, seeing how Benjamaro is right now causing trouble with the Fallen Angel side. But this is where, well, he said he was about to cause trouble with the, what's it called, Devils and, well, Exorcists. But then didn't really care. He knows that the Devils are too hurt and the Exorcists are pretty pathetic. He doesn't care. He kind of just says, don't worry, I won't attack you again. Besides, you guys are too pathetic for me to even fight. If I kill you now, then there'll just be a problem, a waste of energy, he said. This is where all of them kind of has tick marks because, wow, just attack them first and then stop attacking them just because you call them their prophetics. This is where, well, they just have tick marks. This is where it reels with them about a protest until Issei said, come out. Well, mostly he didn't say come out. This is where mostly he puts both of his hands in front of him. This is where, well, he then kind of like like if he was going to scratch the air he kind of twists his hands towards like making a claw like if he was going to scratch the air and this is where it will he has both of his hands up in the air he swings him down and says it we don't know me cutting well mostly net cut this is where well no, not uh, uh, Ito Ito no Mi, uh, what's it called, Neto. No, it's called Ito Ito no Mi Rasaito. This is where, well, multiple strings actually stab upon so many of the fallen angels' backs, mostly at their necks. This is where, well, Issei starts controlling them like puppets. This is where, well, they actually start attacking their own comrades, and even if some of them did already kind of have control of their, well, mostly having under control of Issei's basically just control they're just stabbing each other this is where well kokobo widened his eyes and saw how isa is the biggest problem here he basically can control his soldiers without a care in the world a human child this is where well he almost got hit with a light spear really fast without even noticing because well the light spear literally kind of caught on fire and was launched to him in high speeds this is where well he dodges and noticed benjamaro was the one to throw it benjamaro kind of said ah. I thought I can hit the big guy. This is where a fallen angel with eight wings tries to attack him and says, Why you bastard? You dare to hurt Coco Bill. This is where this fallen angel has, well, kind of a, like, well, mostly a suit. That, well, having a kind of a brownish coat suit. And, of course, having a fedora on. And, of course, tries to attack, well, mostly Benjamaru. Benjamaru right now twists his arm to, like, dodge the spear. But then grab this guy's arm. And of course, pull him in tight before literally fucking sending a knee straight toward this man's fucking neck. Just right in the throat. <coughs> this person could not really talk fast enough and they didn't know what to do next. But this is where he then gets his head literally grabbed because Benjamin literally twists his body up, like jumping up, grabbing this guy's head. And of course, where when the person, well, Benjamin lands back down behind this person, having still his like head, he then like send this guy, like, he kind of grabbed this guy with his full force, pull him up, and then smash him down to the ground right in front of him. Now, of course, the guy's head smashed to the ground first, and then gets his head personally just stomped on. Yeah, Benjamin didn't care. This is where most of the fallen angels are literally trying to fight back against two people that are literally whooping their ass. <laughs> yeah. This is where, well, 
<laughs> Issei is laughing and of course these people can't even fight back because he's literally having control of so many fallen angels saying oh come on you guys can do better can't you <laughs> so yeah he's laughing like a maniac this is where the fallen angels cannot even fight back this is where they're fighting against their own comrades even if some of them had was a car like eight wings, six wings, or four wings, they're actually still being under control of Issei. He's kind of having control of them pretty easily. This is where, well, they are just fighting against each other and can't do anything. This is where, well, Coco Bill is getting quite angry. This is where he tells the exorcist that is down there that he should stop playing with the damn females and fight against that one with the strings. This is where, well, Mostly it's uh, Frederick, or not Frederick, Fried? Freed? Yeah, Freed. Why the hell do I keep saying Frederick? No, Freed? Freed say, oh, okay, fine, I'll do it. Freed is right now rushing past the four exorcists and rushing towards Issei. This is where Issei, he then looks at Freed, and Freed is coming closer and closer to him. This is where Issei chuckles and grins to himself, saying, oh, you think you can actually attack me just because I have my hands full? Well, you should know. That wouldn't work at all. This is where Freed was rushing straight towards Issei. And Issei right now, he laughs. This is where his feet, one of his feet, mostly his like right leg, transformed into a dark kind of like purple color. Like it was purple and greenish, like if it was armor for some reason. And of course, this is where it will. He then has strings through his feet actually appearing. Because I should mention that even though he's wearing shoes, strings are actually appearing. And this is where he's his athlete. This is where he kicks at what's it called? Well, Freed? Freed could not dodge it fast enough. This is where he gets kicked in the head right now, launched into multiple, well, mostly into the school. This is where he smashes into the school, could not even react fast enough from the dodge or from the kick from mostly Issei. This is where, well, he smashes into that, and this is where, well, mostly the Pope was shocked. Freed had, well, an Excalibur mixed with four Excaliburs, yeah. Well, mostly it wasn't four Excaliburs. It was actually, yeah, kind of four. Kind of had the destruction one. But of course, he even just smashed it there. But yeah. This is where, well. The other four exorcists that was trying to fight against Freed. Why in their eyes and how Freed easily just got kicked to the fucking school. Just that. Uh, it's so easy. Like, so fucking easy. Like, damn. And this person even isn't even wearing like clothes for battle. He looks like he's wearing clothes that he should have like showed up at such a nice like fancy ass restaurant or just some kind of business outfit. But yeah, motherfucker should be. Yeah, that's what he's wearing most of the time. But yeah, this is where well, free gets up and say, Ugh, "You think I'm gonna die that easily?" He say said, "Cut." This is where well, he then just cuts off all the connections with the well, mostly fallen angels that he's controlling, and they all just splat into multiple pieces and blood. This is where, well, mostly the devils wanted to just barf up, even though they were a sea and massacre. Just, why do you have to be so cold-blooded? They all think in their head. Even the exorcist. This is where Freaky kind of widened his eyes as to seeing how Issei really just killed him. What a care in the world. This is where Issei then looks at Freed, and this is where Issei chuckles at himself, having such a maniacal grin. Mostly, yeah, a maniacal grin, and kind of just chuckling, and kind of <laughs> So, it looks like my hands aren't full. Let's have some fun there, exorcist. Or should I say rogue exorcist, if I can actually remember right. Wait, actually, I remember who you are. This is where, well, you see, now it has such a mind and uncle grin. This is where Freed is trying to think, in, where the hell has he seen this person? For some reason, mostly Issei seems to know who he is, and he doesn't know who Issei is. This is where, well... Freed says, how the hell am I going to know who you are? Oh, Freed there. Or mostly white hair. You don't remember who scar you in your chest. Do you not remember the, was it called, mostly, uh, well. So, of course, the word, well, he chuckles and says, he don't remember what happened in the Vanguard about four years ago. This is the word, well. Right now, Freed winds his eyes and says, no, it's you. It's you and that brat. Now I remember who you are. This is where, well, Freed kind of screams at Issei. This is where the Pope actually winds his eyes because he remembered an incident four years ago causing two children, 
mostly someone that has X and O's in his eyes, with another one having such a maniacal grin and mostly laughing all the time while murdering and killing those who are in the vanguard. Just because other than let's cause fucking chaos. This is what, well, it was mostly such a chaotic attack, but they, they didn't know why they were there to cause chaotic destruction, but they were just there to literally cause chaotic destruction. Two 14-year-old kids, that's what mostly the kind of vanguard kind of dealt with. But yeah, Friedwein in his eyes. He remembers having a flashback when he was still an exorcist, an actual normal exorcist, before he actually went rogue and actually went to kind of go on his malicious uh, desire to actually kill people who are considered with devils or just devils in general, but yeah, or just anyone supernatural. He kind of remembered kind of fighting against such a malicious kid that literally cut him with strings. Like using some strings and also shot at him with strings. This is where, well, he remembers a flashback because he remembers protecting this like, well, mostly supposed to be noble, like noble person in the Vanguard church. But yeah, but of course it worked. Well, he remembered getting cut with a string slash, but then remember getting shot with his finger. Mostly we go into a flashback. It's easy when he's 14 and laughing at, what's it called, mostly, Freed, getting shot down with, like, these string bullets. This is where it was called Tomoiti. And this is where, well, he was only pointing his finger once, and this is where Freed was getting shot. In his arm, left arm, right arm, left leg, right leg, freaking anywhere, even in his chest. This is where he even did get shot in the head, but mostly that was a long time ago. But, yeah, this is where, well, he caught the blood. He would have died if it wasn't... For someone actually helping him. Now it wasn't uh, was it called mostly it was someone from the fan car, but yeah, mostly kind of repairing his body with machinery. But yeah, mostly the Pope. But yeah, so yes, Freed in this one is kind of machine half machine half human. This is where well, Freed grits his teeth and says, "You're that little brat that actually dared to scar me. I'm going to kill you." This is where he then activates the machinery parts and started trying to shoot bullets straight towards Issei. This is where Issei is chuckling. <laughs> ah, Waito. This is where, well, he puts his hand onto the ground and of course this is where the ground right now turns into strings and strings start rising up right now. It's like blocking all the bullets. This is where Free wind his eyes. <laughs> oh, you think I didn't know that you were machine? Sorry, but I already sensed and calculated that you were machine because there's no other way for you to survive my attacks from four years ago, unless you are some kind of machine. <laughs> this is where, well, this is where Freed wanted his eyes. This is where, well, next was an attack that was devastating for Freed. Like, what's it called? Seven pillars of string actually started appearing. And this is where, well, he then named out the attack. Billow White O. This is where, well, the string started kind of going down, like if it was like, what's it called, legs of a tarantula or some kind of like sp spikes. This is where, well, or even like a water dragon from Naruto, think about that. This is where, well, the strings literally smash upon Freed and Freed couldn't even dodge it. He tries to dodge it using one of his eyes that was actually modified, but of course, this is where, well, all the strings were too fast for him. And this is where he actually gets end up stabbing like seven times. And this is where, well... He then kind of, well, all the strings started to appear, but he was still flying in midair. This is where he couldn't move until he noticed Issei's hand. Issei's hand was right now just flat as palm. He was in just a flat hand until he started kind of closing his hand. This is where, well, Fruit says, no, you can't stop this. No, you're a maniac. I'm sorry. Actually, I'm not sorry. I don't care. <laughs> Chaos should be one thing. So goodbye. He started closing his hand fully, and this is where Free said, No! Die. This is where he closed his hand fully, and of course, this is where all the strings tight enough into what's it called Freed's body that they actually just cut him apart into millions of pieces. Think of it like Gara from Naruto when he closes his, well, mostly fist, when he kind of makes a fist motion and says, Die, and he ex well, see the person that's in the sand explodes. Freed in this one just gets cut into a millions of pieces thanks to strings. It's similar to that attack, but yeah. That's where, well, if you ever watch Naruto, if you haven't, then shit, but, uh, well, good luck and find that, okay? Whatever. But, of course, we go into mostly Freed literally dying. All blood, bones, machinery starts falling down. 
is where we'll have the exorcist wanted to just farm it. But of course, then sees where was it called? Uh, well, um, sees where all the four exorcists are seeing this, and of course, this is where the Excalibur is down to the ground, mostly like stabbing to the ground. This is where well, he says chuckling. This is where well, he says sees the Excalibur, and this is where he says quite pathetic for this shit. This is where Issei's hand right now appears strings. And of course, they did become a darker color, but no one notices. And this is where Issei says cut. This is where, oh, he sent what's it called? Well, mostly not uh, send a cut. They become such a dark color that's kind of glowing this purple and green. And this is where, well, he says God threads. This is where he swing his hand down straight to the Excalibur, in which everyone couldn't really react fast enough. And this is where the threads. Uh, well, not even the threads, mostly the sword itself was cut immediately. This is where, well, the Pope, the Pope's eyes widen. They just almost bulge out from his eye socket. This is where, well, Coco Bell widened his eyes, seeing the Excalibur easily cut into basically five pieces. And this is where everyone else widened their eyes. Some of the fallen angels just widened their eyes. This is where, well... He says, chuckling. <laughs> this is where, well, we go into, well, mostly next, it's what's it called. Uh, so, of course, after Freed's death and also the death of the Excalibur being cut into two pieces, Coco Bill wiped his eyes. This is where, well, all of them are just shocked. The only people that are not shocked is, well, what's it called? Mostly Issei and also, well, uh, what's it called? Benjamado. Benjamado says, well, you want me to go against a big guy? Yeah, annihilate him at once. It's better to kill these people than to even bother to be not killing them. This is where, well, the Pope was thinking of running away, but this is where, well, he got a string stab behind him. Or not even a string stab behind him. Something really killed him by bit. Well, behind him, something shoved its hand through his body and pulled out his heart. This is where the Pope said, who, who are you? The only thing that <clears throat> the only thing that he saw left was a yellow slick eye. <laughs> mostly a slick yellow eye. Mostly the slick was white, but yeah. This is where, well, one of his hands were black while the Pope was seeing this. And of course, seems to be bandaged up a little bit. And the other hand seems to be regular normal. But the black hand seems to have the heart. And of course, the heart was turning black and then just dropped. This is where the person just kind of looks at him and says, you're quite pathetic. This is where, well, the person kind of said quietly, but yeah. This is where, well, Joker already noticed who it was and he didn't care what he was doing here. This is where, well, Benjamin was rushing straight towards the car, well, Coco Bill. Coco Bill started launching, well, light spears, very, like, big light spears, but they were turning smaller. Which, he was confused. He just confused half the time. Since light spears do uh, kind of, like, make heat, they were actually being decreased thanks to, well, Benjamin but yeah. But not just that, even though it was becoming smaller, someone was saying divide, divide at the same time. This is where, well, Benjamin was noticing this, but he didn't care. And of course, this is where, well, Coco Bill was angry. He then rushes down towards, well, mostly Benjamin to fight him. This is where, well, he sends such a powerful punch, but this is where Benjamin counters by kind of slapping it away, twisting his hand underneath, and grabbing Coco Bill from the shoulder with the same arm, and then punching him right in the face. This is where, well, Coco Bill was dumbfounded. This is where he then gets palm strikes in the stomach. <laughs> This is where, well, before he could even fly backwards, his wing was grabbing an instant. And this is where, well, Benjamaru had his hand right now ignited with fire. And he just chopped off two wings off from Coco Bell. Coco Bell started screaming like it's no one's business. This is where, well, Coco Bell now looks at, well, Benjamaru with such anger in his eyes. This is where, well, Benjamaru looks at him with just, meh, he doesn't care. Like a look of... He doesn't really give a damn. This is where, well, we go into mostly, uh, what's it called? Issei, who is right now saying, well, he then puts his hand back to saying, <sighs> this is where he kind of touches the, um, both his hands down to the ground and says, ever what? 
This is where so many threads, like a sea of threads, actually appear underneath the fallen angels that were right now up in the sky. This is where threads actually started appearing, grabbing some of the fallen angels, making sure that they can't escape. This is where they're, they're trying to struggle until this is where, well, he says, Senban no Yuto, or whatever. Flat threads. This is where threads started appearing, but they started having this malicious purplish color, like if armament started appearing on the tip of the threads. Very sharp. This is where, well, he says, now it's time for the grave of the fallen angels. Bye bye. This is where all the fallen angels started literally getting pierced and stabbed all around. This is where all the fallen angels that were left literally just got murdered in an insane massacre. This is where three fallen angels were watching this and just seeing how horrifying it is to see all their comrades, well, mostly Treyarch comrades, but Treyarch comrades were just massacred an instinct. This is where, well, they were just shocked, horrified. This is where, well, someone saw this and of course, this is where he was actually quite horrified. To see a human be able to just massacre all the fallen angels without care in the world. This is where, well, he still was chuckling. Laughing like a maniac. This is where, well, uh, mostly we go into Benjamin. Benjamin was right now kicking the shit, punching the shit out of what it's called Kokobo. Kokobo tries to attack Benjamin by grabbing him from the face. He managed to do it, but this is where a sword made out of smoke actually cut off his hand. This is where Kokobo screams and says, Ah, son of a bitch, who did that? This is where, well, Benjamin managed to grab the arm off his face. And he does have a quite of a piss off look. His both eyes are right now glowing menacingly. But this is where Benjamin noticed was it cost someone. This person is named Smoke Eye, but there's also another name for him. Mostly his real name is Mostly his name is Black Smoke, not Smoke Eye. Either Smoke Eye, Black Smoke, the Grim Reaper hand or whatever. But his name is Corona. And Corona says, uh, if it isn't Shima. This is where Shima scoffs and says, Screw off, Corona. This is where well EC appears right next to him. And say so, oh, Corona. Why you do? What are you doing here? Corona says, "I only came here to help." I guess you can say. Oh, I thought you were here to literally find some random kid and beat his ass for no other reason than you like just child abusing kids. This is where Corona glares at what well, Issei. Issei has a chuckle, like a maniac grin in his face, and doesn't care what he says right in front of Corona. This is where well, Issei says. Well, I'm sorry. Too bad for you. I'm not a child that you can literally abuse. Too bad for you, isn't it, right? This is where Chrono glares at him and says, Fuck off. This is where, well, Benjamin says, We shouldn't be right now talking. Shouldn't we just kill this bastard right now? Chrono says, I agree. He says, Good to know. This is where, well, he then touches the ground and says, this is where he says off white. This is where, well, he then says pillars, uh, strings. This is where two pillars of strings right now launches boat. What's it called? Mostly Corona and even Benjamin up in the air. Benjamin starts kind of launching fire attacks straight towards the car. Uh, Kokobo? Kokobo is trying to dodge, but of course he gets hit by half of them. Even what's it called? Smoke threads. Mostly these like needles started smashing also upon him. Right now stabbing into some like weak points that are making his body kind of numb. But of course, this is where, well, he's coughing up blood and this is where, well, he says, said, Ever White. This is where an Ever White ocean appears around what's it called Cocoville. This is where, well, threads start to appear and grabbing him, making sure that he won't be able to fly off. But his wings are trying to push him up. This is where, well, he says, Oh, hell no, you don't. This is where, well, he then kind of said, cutting strings. This is where, well, the kind of threads that were holding on to mostly Coco Bill's wings literally cut off his wings in an instant. Coco Bill screams in pain. But this is where, well, mostly Corona appears above Coco Bill with a sword, a black sword made out of smoke. This is where stabbing him, launching him down to the ground. This is where, well, Issei did manage to kind of flatten the ground so it wasn't what's called just strings. And of course, this is where, well, or threads mostly, and of course smashing Coco Bell down to the ground, and of course Coco Bell is coughing at blood. This is where he tries to grab Corona, but this is where, well, threads manage to grab Corona and like pull him up in the air. Of course, Corona still had his sword, well, made another sword, 
This is where Kokomo tries to grab the sword out of his chest. But this is where when he kind of grabs it out of, well, we'll see his chest. Corona created this kind of staff, the smoke staff. He throws it straight to his point, uh, the, 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 Benjamaru. No, Benjamaru, and of course, Benjamaru managed to grab it. This is where, well, Benjamaru says, uh, I need four more. Fucking make those. This is where Corona just scoffs and says, fine. This is where, well, he makes four more staffs, and of course, this is where they all ignited with the fire. Uh, this is where, well, Benjamaru smashes, well, the staff into, well, Kokobo, launching him up uh, through the dome. Mostly the dome actually shatters. Because thanks to Issei making threads, flat, uh, mostly I say flat threads. And this is where they all just crack into the dome, making it kind of shatter. This is where, well, when the uh, impact of Cocoa Bell smashes through. But yeah, and this is where, well, uh, mostly, uh, what's it called? Benjamin has like four other staff behind him right now having fire. Well, not four, mostly five. And of course, he has the sixth one kind of being fly on it. But this is where, well, he's pushing Cocoa Bell up. And Cocoa Bell says, what are you doing, human? No. I can't die by just a human. That would be too embarrassing. How about you go through hell, human? He tried to make a, what's it called, light spirit, but of course he couldn't because it was right now being nullified or mostly being counted on an instant. And this is where, well, uh, right now, when Benjamin kind of launches him up, he then sends, uh, what's it called, the five staffs are made of smoke, smashing upon him. And this is where, well, Coco Bill, uh, not Coco Bill, Coco Bill goes, Ugh! this is where uh, he tries to grab Benjamin, but Benjamin says, I'm going to have to copy this move from you, Conro. Don't worry about this. This is where, well, he makes a sun kind of like this fire appears behind him. And of course, this is where, well, yeah, wait. So pretty much, Benjamaru kind of like did hit him with the chop, that sun, like sun wheel chop and all that, mostly seven form. It didn't do much to Coco Bill. Coco Bill cough up and says, why you little? This is where, well, Benjamin says, well, I'm going to have to copy your move, Conro. This is where he hits it with the most powerful palm strike. This is where annihilating, what's it called? Well, what's it called? Coke Bell in an instant. This is where the moon was actually shining up, up in the sky, being the white, but turning into a red. The crimson moon, that's what it's called. This is where, well, everyone is kind of seeing the crimson moon. The this is where everyone just sees this and Coco Bill is long dead, like he's gone. This is where everyone wind their eyes seeing Coco Bill literally get annihilated by a child or mostly human entirely. This is where, well, uh, oh, what's it called? Um, Corona looks at Issa and says, Well, I should be going back. This is where, well, Corona says, Also, they did tell me not for you to cause trouble. They also gave me another contract if you wanna this is where well he was about to talk until a uh, literally a card smashes into the what's it called mostly contract, destroying the contract in an instant. This is where burning it. He say like chuckles and say, sorry, but I don't do contracts. You can tell your boss to go shove it up where the sun doesn't damn shine. This is where well Connor gets just scoffed and walks away. Also make sure to stop abusing kids. No kid wants to ever be traumatized by your ugly ass hell half the time. This is where, well, uh, Koro flips him off and says, fuck you and die already. This is where Issei chuckles. This is where Issei looks at what's the cop and Jamar falling down. Of course, yes, the what's it called black staffs mostly made out of smoke already is dissipating, but yeah. This is where, well, Benjamin is literally falling off and, ah, shit. <laughs> this is where, well, Issei says, oh shit, right, I forgot he can't fly. Shit. This is where, well, he made, well, he then puts his feet on the ground and says, Threads, no me. This is where, well, well, mostly he says, Off white. This is where, well, he says, Cushion. Or, yeah, cushion. That's what it's called. Off white cushion. This is where, well, he makes it threads and looks like a pillow, but yeah, when he smashes into it, mostly, well, Benjamaru, he didn't get cut or sliced into millions of parts. But yeah. This is where, well, Benjamaru says, uh, Are we done here? Or did we have to fight those people also? He say looks at the like devils and even exorcists, and then thinks about it. Hmm. Of course, the barrier is already falling down, and Sona's barrage is kind of rushing towards well, Issei and Benjamaru. This is where Issei kind of says, "Hmm." This is where well, someone landed mostly on top of both of them. Well, not landed on top of both of them. Uh, landed in front of them. Mostly, it looks to be like someone with twelve wings. 
actually two people landed. They have 12 wings, but they have different types. One is kind of bat-like and the other one looks crow-like. This is where it will. One has longish red hair and bluish eyes. And of course, the other person has golden bangs, black hair, and of course, violet eyes. Now, of course, behind them landed three people. A female with blackish hair and of course, violet eyes. A female with kind of what's it called yellowish hair. And of course, mostly like a goth outfit, kind of made at the same time. Being having blue eyes and have also wings, and someone with kind of blondish hair, and of course, having kind of dullish blue eyes with wings actually land. It's also next to them. Someone with grayish hair and bluish, uh, well, mostly grayish, bluish eyes, I don't remember, kind of uh, appear next to the man with reddish hair. This is where, well, he said, said okay, so you run like hell. <laughs> this is where, well, Benjamin Mars sweat out, and this is where he says, he said, let's go now. This is where he says, he kind of just like slams his hands into the ground off white pillar of white This is where well the off white really just transformed the ground This is where a pillar literally launched them both up in the air This is where well easily then uses the strings to grab the clouds and this is where well He then flies off of course having Benjamaru right behind him But yeah, we'll see Benjamaru is grabbing onto kind of the threads this is where invisible threads, but yeah, he managed to find them and kind of swing with Issei. They're running the fuck away. This is where, well, all of them sweat drops in an end scene. This is where, well, one person was about to fly at them. Mostly someone with mostly dullish blue eyes and, of course, blondish hair. Well, kind of pinkish blondish hair. But, of course, this is where the person stops them. An older man, mostly, stops the female. But, yeah, because the three fallen angels are next to women are kind of females. But, yeah. This is where the older man says, Junko Chan, don't do that. Don't go follow don't you dare go follow your husband. This is where he kind of whispered down to this girl's ear. This is where the girl kind of blushes and says, Shut shut the hell up, Kasen. This is where it well it seems to be uh, mostly her father or something. This is where it well her father chuckles, but yeah. This is where it well the devil like with red uh mostly red hair kind of looks at Rias and says, Hey sis. Um, the reason why we didn't get here fast is uh, a lot of problems. <laughs> this is where, well, Rios glares at him, but yeah. Now, of course, the exorcists now already know who Benjamaru and Issei are. And of course, just because they are actually the kids who literally caused the Vanguard a lot of fucking problems four years ago. This is where, well, we go into Issei and Benjamaru. Benjamaru and Issei are right now at a train stop and literally they're about to just leave. <laughs> this is where, well... Boots is there saying, my lord, where are you going? What about my money and my, la uh, my salary? That's where Issei say, sweat drops and says, dot, dot, dot. You already know how to get in. Why the hell are you complaining to me? Also, you realize that I have to go somewhere to really cause trouble. Those bastards are going to get it for that stupid contract that I signed. Damn, I must have been drunk at that time. Uh, whatever. This is where, well, Benjamin says, whatever, let's cause trouble and fuck them up. Yep, let's do this. This is where, well, Pooh sat him, but of course, he understood. <laughs> he would have gotten along also, but he didn't really want to cause Issei more trouble than normal. But yeah, because Issei looks quite pissed and annoyed. But yeah. But this is where I'm going to leave it off for part three of this what if. So yeah, uh, other than that, I'm going to end it off here, and I'm gonna, well not end it off like the whole series, like end off part 3, part 4 would be whenever, but uh, I'm also trying to do what if Issei was, well, yeah, had an anti-demon magic inside him, uh, but other than that, let me leave it off here, and I gotta go somewhere, but yeah, bye, mostly yeah, I gotta go do something, but yeah, bye.